in the beginning, right after the war, we wanted to talk about it. <laughs> if we could talk about it, we wanted to talk about it. We needed to talk about it. I wanted to talk about it a lot, but nobody wanted to hear it. Like when I first came to this country, nobody wanted to hear about the Holocaust. I mean, nobody wanted to hear about it. My own cousin, dentist in California, I met when I first came over here. He said to me also, the first thing he said, he said, Manny, I know what you went through. I saw the newsrooms. I don't want to hear a word about it. That's what he said to me. I saw the newsrooms. It's not a funny thing. To me, a funny thing I noticed made me think. Maybe they did see something. This was 1947, two years after the war. And I noticed there were reports coming out, the first ones about unidentified flying objects. Ah, this was the beginning of all that with the Martians and the flying saucers, 1947. Suddenly, 1947, all these unidentified flying objects were showing up. And just like they say today, some people were saying, they saw the people from inside the spaceship. Ah, just like they say today, they said they saw the people who were coming from Mars. And the people they saw had big bald heads. They had skinny arms and skinny legs. Large eyes, always. The large eyes in those big heads are those skinny little bodies. So I said to myself, I've seen these people before. <laughs> I've seen these people before. I've seen those thin, tiny, skinny bodies. I've seen those bald heads popping up and down. I've seen those large eyes eyes that were everywhere, staring, eyes seeing everything, seeing nothing. Yeah. I've seen these people before. And my cousin, the dentist in California, he had also seen these people before. He saw them in the newsreels. I saw them on Mars. <laughs>